Hey everybody, it's I, uh, Dragon Zero. I'm back at it again with another live re um, quick time review. This time it's Joker Do 2 or whatever they um, they call the new Joker film with Lady Gaga on it. So I just went to a preview, um, um, a, um, whatever, the, um, preview screening. So where they show the movie early before it comes out. So the movie is alright, but there are some issues. Um, I don't think. So the big issue I had was the musical um like aspect of it the mu the music that they chose was a little bit boring you know um Joaquin Phoenix still does a good job but you know how they portray his mental illness in this one is a little bit I don't know skewed you know I feel like he might have been imagining like the way he would been loving you know but he was how the Guard treated him, you know, um, and then of course, um, Lady Gaga does a pretty um, all right. I'm not as good as uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Um, this one's more like manipulative, you know. Um, just I don't know. They're just kind of not really like a Harley Quinn character. They just seem more like a just a random love, not even a love interest, you know what I mean, I just think that she was just somebody, like, there, you know what I mean, I don't think there's really, like, any, like, substance with her character, we don't see her backstory at all, like, at, like, we just see that she's a patient, and we learn that she's, like, may, might not be mentally ill or some shit, so, it's weird how they do it, and they kind of, like, they force them to break up, which kind of, you know, like, what's the purpose of having Harley Quinn in the sequel when she's not even gonna be with Joker the whole time, you know? Because that's kind of, like, the purpose of the Harley Quinn character is to be with the Joker. Care about the Joker, you know? Like, especially when you have, like, multiple stories of them together unless they did the Poison Ivy thing, you know? Which is fine, you know, but they don't have that universe set up here. I just felt, like, kind of weird, you know? Um, and then, of course, um, they had, um... A couple, there's a couple of other characters here, like the, um, guard, you know, who's played by the guy, um, um, General Hux's dad, um, he's, I feel like, like, his character, I felt like, was a little bit, um, like, they played him as nice to Arthur at the beginning, but I'm pretty sure that because Arthur's, like, just imagining shit, I'm pretty sure he's just like, oh, this asshole, you know, like, he's, like, he's probably actually beating the fuck out of him, to be honest with you. Um, but, yeah, no, um, I do, um, feel like that sometimes some of the, um, like, some of the, um, scenes, you know, are a little bit janky, you know what I mean, when it comes to, like, the transitions, you know, it just doesn't really make any sense, and the musical aspect, as I said, like, you could remove that, remove it, and it would, like, it would still be, like, the same movie, you know, the musical stuff add absolutely nothing to the film, and to be honest with you, they should have just removed them, to be honest, like, because there's really no need for it, you know, um, I do gotta say, though, at the very end, spoiler alert if you don't want to hear it, um, the Joker died, like, Arthur, like, gets stabbed in prison by a guy who's, like, a psychopath, you know, and, a lot of people are, like, um, the people in my, um, theater were saying that it might actually be, um, Joaquin, um, not Joaquin Phoenix's, um, Joker, um, what's the, Heath Ledger's Joker from The Dark Knight, which I would be A-okay if that was him, you know, but, you know, we don't really see, like, we see, like, hints and glimpse, but we don't actually see him, like, you know, like, interact with the Joker until the very end. I thought he was gonna be the gap to the guy we see at the very, um, how, like, in the movie, you know, where he said the where the saints go marching, and which is, by the way, that's a big song in this movie. And I thought they were gonna rally behind that song, you know, and, like, riot in Arkham, but they decided not to. I also wish they would pick up the point uh, about, um, Bruce Wayne's parents at the end, um, you know, maybe have, like, um, maybe, like, show, like, maybe Bruce Wayne or somebody or Alfred maybe setting up potential or some, something like that. But, you know, they don't really do anything, to be honest with you. But it does set up that Joker. So, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, I'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 or 7.5. Probably more of a 7, to be honest with you. Now that I think about it, there were some issues with it. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Dragon Zero, and I'll see you next time. Peace.